Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So recently I did some testing with Todd of rondel daggers against various types of clothing and potentially kind of armor simulators. And we're definitely gonna look more at this in the future. But in the comments, it got me to thinking that I need to highlight one specific thing. And that is that martial arts and self-defense in the medieval and Renaissance worlds are fun fundamentally different to how we approach most self-defense in the modern world because every single person had a knife. Um, so if you imagine a world where literally everybody walking around in the streets, in the inn, in the pub, um, in the house, uh, everywhere has a knife on them. And I'm not necessarily talking about a specialized dagger like the rondel dagger here. It could be a so-called bollock dagger or a basilard, or indeed the humble eating knife. So what we've got here this is incidentally from Todd Cutler. This is also from Todd Cutler. This is a simple eating set. Now, prior to the um, knife and fork of the modern world, people very often went around with their own eating utensils. Instead of a fork, they had this spike, sometimes known as a prick. Um, and here they have a little eating knife. Now, this little eating knife <laughs> is quite frankly as big, it's obviously fixed blade, it's not folding, although they did have folding knives in the medieval period. This is as big as some knives, uh, some certainly some kitchen knives and some knives that people carry um, as tools and frankly as weapons in the modern world. So when you imagine that everybody in the medieval and Renaissance world at least had an eating knife and lots of people walked around with things like um, rondel daggers as well. It completely changes the entire context of self-defense and martial arts. Um, so that should color all of your interpretations and all of your mindset and thinking when we're talking about medieval martial arts.